Hello YouTube, Rocky3 here, bringing you another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the Godzilla 2000, or Godzilla Millennium, from the Bandai Creation series. Yes, and today's review is brought to you by MyComicsPlus.net, your one-stop supply shop for all your nerdy needs. They also sponsored my Fusion Rainbow Moth review, so if you want to check that out, you can. On my channel. <coughs> and uh, what do you say we get started? So uh, yeah, you can find this figure on mycomicsplus.net. Really awesome figure. Probably one of Bandai Creation's best figures yet. Probably the best Godzilla figure they've ever made. I mean, just the way they have him posed is really cool. His hunch and everything and he's not a symmetrical figure like say this Bandai Godzilla from the Mechagirus pack he's pretty symmetrical but this Godzilla is not and I like that about the figures because it makes them feel more unique more alive and the detail is just really great like the scales and everything look wonderful the claws look fantastic the head sculpt is actually very, very cool. His eyes are painted well, and his teeth are just magnificent. Not individually sculpted, but they're sculpted very well. And just, there's not like any paint bleed on this figure at all. It is just absolutely magnificent. And the spines are the most wonderful feature. Look at these spines. That dark, dark purple. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. So beautiful. Definitely one of Bandai Creation's best figures yet. Definitely. And for those who missed out, they did just reissue it. So, lucky you. And they also made a Fusion, which is okay. But if you want to get the Fusion, I recommend getting this one first. It is very, very cool. <coughs> Sorry. If anyone watched my collection update that did have the Rainbow Mothra in it, you saw that my sinuses were giving me some trouble, which is why my voice sounds a little different and I'm coughing. So I apologize for that. But I still need to make this review. It's kind of my job. So, yeah. Really nice. So let's check out articulation now that we've talked about detail and paint. The articulation's uh, pretty standard, you know. The arms, they rotate. You got a swivel there. As you can see, and then the legs, the arms out of the way, you can see the full extent of their rotation. They go 360. So yeah, sadly no head articulation, but the lack of head articulation allows us to have better detail on the neck and better connection, so that's fine. And the tail is a glue seal, as you can see there, but I've never tried breaking it and I don't necessarily recommend it. Especially if you get the Fusion version, because the Fusion figures are very, very soft vinyl. And you don't need to rotate that tail anyways. It's not a big deal. So, yeah, that's articulation. Only four points, but that's perfectly fine. The figure doesn't need much more. So, uh, yeah, how about we do some size comparisons? So, here is the Millennium Godzilla with a couple other figures that I have. And obviously I've already shown you these in the review, but not as size comparisons. So here he is compared with the Godzilla from the Mega Gears pack, also a Godzilla 2000, just from a movie, the movie that comes right after Godzilla 2000, so whatever. And uh, I think they scale up fine. This one's hunched over more than this one, so you can't really tell that there's that much of a difference. They look good. They look good together. And then we've never actually seen... Godzilla 2000 compared to Rainbow Mothra, because Rainbow Mothra was only in the Rebirth of Mothra films, the second and the third one. So, we have to go off, like, basic Mothra scaling, which, in this case, looks fine. So, your Rainbow Mothra and your Fusion Rainbow Mothra will scale up well with this figure. And that's good to know. <coughs> and, uh, let me remove this real quick. So that you can see Bogal over here better. Bogal is an ultra monster. Or 
a Sajan or whatever from Ultraman Mebius. And, uh, I mean, I guess the sizing is fine. I kind of think Godzilla should be a little taller, though, maybe like this compared to Bogal. Because <coughs> Ultraman and the Ultra Monsters are smaller than Godzilla, a lot smaller. But if you kind of scale them together, like double one size or half the other size, then uh, you can get them at better heights. But whatever, they look fine together on a shelf. Well, I guess they do. <laughs> uh, my Bogol's actually on a different shelf than my Godzilla's here, but I make it work. So, all in all, the Bandai Creations Godzilla 2000, a.k.a. Millennium Godzilla, is an amazing figure. One of Bandai Creations' absolute best. I mean, I love this figure. Uh, it scales well with other Godzilla figures, not necessarily figures from other franchises like Ultraman and Gamera, but your Godzilla figures, which is what truly matters, scales up well with. It's not hard to come by, so you can get it for an okay price, especially if you go to mycomicsplus.net. And it's just it looks great. The articulation's okay, uh, as much as it really needs, and the sculpt is just amazing. Uh, I really like this better than the regular Godzilla 2000, the Bandai Japan one. So I recommend this over the Bandai Japan figure, which is not a usual thing for me. So that's really cool. I give the Bandai Creations Millennium Godzilla 5 out of 5 stars. It is amazing. An amazing figure. I mean, I highly recommend that all of you pick this guy up. He's pretty much necessary for your collection. He is absolutely amazing. And uh, if you want to get him from mycomicsplus.net, you can use the coupon code at the end of this video. Yes, there's an exclusive coupon code at the end of this video. And if you use that code, you can get a certain percentage off on the figure at the website. So be sure to take advantage of that. Be sure to take advantage of that. And uh, MyComicsPlus.net will also be getting more Godzilla figures soon. Not just this wave. They will have my, many, many, many more figures. And there's still a growing website, so they're still putting stuff up on the site. They have a lot of stuff that's not up on the site yet, like Brightest Day figures and Halo stuff, World of Warcraft things, Star Trek, Power Rangers, all kinds of stuff. <coughs> so yeah just keep your eye on the site it's actually a really great place trust me I've been shopping there for years so uh yeah mycomicsplus.net 5 out of 5 be sure to use the coupon code to get yourself a deal on this figure and I will see you guys later hello YouTube do you ever ask yourself, where does that extremely handsome guy get all of his cool stuff? Well, I'm here to let you know that I get all of my cool stuff from MyComicsPlus.net, your one-stop supply shop for all of your nerdy needs. They have comics, games, figures, and so much more. So go to MyComicsPlus.net now. And at the end of this video, you will receive a special exclusive coupon code that you can only get from my videos to get a discount on your purchase. So remember to subscribe for regular discounts and updates from MyComicsPlus.net. So what are you waiting for? Write down that coupon code and get yourself an exclusive offer from the wonderful MyComicsPlus.net.